Golfography. The art of sharing one's passion for the game of golf through photography. There is no question that golf has struggled over the years. Less than ideal perceptions have been a handicap to growing the game. And golf needs a chance to change that. And golfography is our chance. People reach out to me all the time and tell me, hey, what you're doing with your golf photography is growing the game of golf. And I know that's kind of trendy right now. Everybody's growing the game and that kind of thing. But I mean, some of us are actually growing the game in, in a sport right now that's dying uh, in many's opinion. Um, what we all do individually is helping to grow the game. I'm super happy to have um, Matt um, and Patrick as my guests because I look up to these guys, uh, got a lot of respect for what they do behind the camera and in front of the camera, and I thought uh, you guys would enjoy hearing from them and get a perspective of how they how they do what they do. Introduce yourself, tell you guys, tell us like quickly about your story, maybe like for 30 seconds. Uh, David Parker, I am from Stillwater, Minnesota, flew in yesterday. I've been shooting golf courses for eight or nine years now. I run the Epic Golf Shot uh, Instagram. And uh, yeah, I don't do that much shooting, so I'm here to like learn. Well, I'm traveling around as the Golf Wall Project, and essentially my goal with the Golf Wall Project is to bring golfers together in the communities that I visit to give back to the communities. Full-time traveler, I live out of Mercedes Sprinter van. He's <laughs> a golf hobo. Golf hobo. Golf hobo. <laughs> Patrick Koenig, uh, golf photographer, um, golf hobo, pillow golf hobo. Uh, formerly of the, the RGV Tour, which some of you may or may not know of. Um, drove around and, and played golf all over the place. Did 50 states and 405 different golf courses in a in a full year. I kind of got into taking pictures. I uh, started working in Cal Club. Um, I don't know, I posted a picture a long time ago with my little kid on the yeah, his eighth core hole hitting a golf shot and uh, it got likes so I ended up buying a camera and a drone and started getting into it. And I work out at Bay Hill, uh, kind of got into photography. I was in the outside golf service and just was there for sunrises and sunsets and just really didn't take much. We had the Arnold Palmer statue there and so I'd always get the sunrise coming up behind him and then it kind of just turned into I really want to get into this and so I bought a drone and bought some equipment and now I do a bunch of stuff and uh, really enjoy you know Channing's work. Pretty much new to playing golf a lot definitely new to like serious photography um, have a chance to play a lot of nice courses and figure that it's better for everyone if I take sweet pictures of them the guy's gonna take us all out there all right. but we got to go now because it takes 10 minutes to get there look, look at that two. light it's coming for you oh look at, oh, look the at green. the green it's wow. getting lit we're ready are we ready <laughs> yeah. don't get too flat with your swing Patrick because I'm right here all right in <laughs> three two one <laughs> So one of the reasons I picked uh, Rams Hill to do the inaugural golf experience um, yeah. was because this place is such eye candy and you know I've been out here several times and as you can see um, for landscape photography it's something special. It's a Fazio design course, I love the bunkering of the golf course and I figured it, it'd be kind of a, a good destination to have people come out and, and get, a, get a good feel of the mountains and, and the California desert. We got Trevor two cams, got one for photo. One for video, uh, supplementary B-roll rig. And as you can see, it makes it a little bit easier when you have really awesome backgrounds like Rams Hill has. So we're gonna keep it rolling. Is There's no bad shots on camera. There's, <laughs> yeah, only, there's only bad reactions. <laughs> I say that to everybody. Because even if you hit that shot and you turn around and you smile, like it could be that banger, you know? Like, when I started this three years ago, I knew nobody in the golf industry. I had this vision of, you know, what I could do and you know when i first started this i wanted to be a published golf course photographer um i wanted to be channing right and as i looked at kind of the market it was there's a 
there's a, a lot of those people out there, but there's only a few that are very successful. So we're lucky to be with Channing today because he is one of those people. Uh, so far, uh, you know, everybody in the class is learning a lot and uh, more about their styles than uh, camera equipment so far, but uh, we got a lot more to go. What I was trying to reiterate is like when I leave a, a hole, I always like to look back because it seems like when you leave it, you're always looking for well, what's next. But some of my favorite shots I get are from looking back. Okay, I'm just here for the I pepperoni. Up in Minnesota, I don't have a bunch of people who I can hang out who golf. This is, this lens is so much. You barely get the... How your forearms? I mean, I'm getting jacked out here. Doing a couple bicep curls. You know, you got to do both arms. Make sure you're really even out. Well, I'm here because I love golf and I love Channing Benjamin. <laughs> the, the guy, the guy is, a, is a legend in, in terms of golf photography and in terms of being a, being a friend. He's been a good friend of mine for, for years now. And so when he first came to me with this idea, I was like, yes, let's do this. And it's been a great experience so far. Uh, my main passion in life has always been photography. I recently picked up golf and now I'm really enjoying the, the blend of the two worlds. If I could describe the Channing Benjamin experience at Rams Hill Golf Club, it would be life-changing. That's two words. Pureness. It's a great day to learn how to, you know, take pure pictures and meet a bunch of great guys. So it's been absolutely pure. For me, medicinal. I think that word would be dreamy. <laughs> a dreamy experience. So uh, this turned out better than I thought. I uh, wasn't expecting the kind of response or feedback I've gotten from all the participants, but it's been next level. I think everybody's gotten a lot out of this experience. I think uh, I should do it again in the future. I'm encouraged. I didn't think so at first, but I think there's a real uh, need to to grow the game through golf photography and get like-minded people involved. And uh, this is just, it's too good. So, I've never played in a skins game this big. I've never played in a skins game. Mad world that made me crazy. Might just turn around to 180. I ain't politic and I ain't kissing no baby. The devil on my doorstep being so shady. Mm, don't trip. We don't gotta let him in. Don't trip. This is uh This is about all we're gonna get to, but no, I, I prefer uh I prefer sunlight, not gray skies. I like the clouds though. We got everyone get all excited. We got sunlight! We got everyone get all sunlight! Ooh. On it, coach. Love rainbow, dude. Big double rainbow guy. It was. Was it just pandemonium over there? Everybody's yeah, like, yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was bossing people light. around. Yeah. <laughs> Get over there. Oh, it's so rainbow. good. Look at yeah, that. so good. It's so good. Oh my god, wait, wait, wipe your face. You're drooling. Here. <laughs> <laughs> wipe your mouth. That's your final yeah. particle. We did, it was right there. I'm stoked with these, dude. This we're gonna have such great photos in that like I mean what more do you want? So I travel around the country and Channing was nice enough to invite me to co-host this event. Man, one word I would use to describe this collaborate. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about this for a long time. I like that. And it's cool to be part of something so big that you're doing. I'm honored that you invited me to co-host this thing. It was really cool, like we had a good time. We had a good time and that's what it was about. It was not just a workshop, it was an experience. Everybody got to experience something different and got to take something from each person. And I got something from you and I hope you got something from me and I'm sure everybody uh, won't forget this day. And we ended with an epic rainbow. <laughs> what, what more do you want? Seriously. I love that. I, I call myself the constant collaborator because I'm trying to collaborate with everybody. And you know, I've looked up to you for a long time. I've been following you on Instagram for a while, you know that. And I, I was honored that you invited me to do this. And well, I appreciate your collaborative I think we, effort. I think we awesome. knocked it out of the park. Yeah, we knocked it out. We're going to do it again. I hope you'll do it again with me. Where? All right. Yeah. Where? <laughs> we knew that Rams Hill could be the canvas we were looking for, but we didn't know that this event could be this impactful. Neither rain nor overcast skies could hinder this group of photographers from gaining an experience of a lifetime. It was a day for teaching, learning, and better yet, golf.
a day where a hidden gem didn't hesitate to show its beauty and provide an unbelievable backdrop. It all became an opportunity to grow the game through what we coin golfography.